first of all, I think your analysis was very straight line. History doesn't run in a straight line. Kid, you cannot tell your neighbor he is stealing ducks when you are stealing funds. As High Commissioner, I was wrong. As Charandas Prasad, I reacted naturally how any person would have. I did not come here for food for that kind of abuse. I did not come here for that kind of abuse. If you're gonna go along that road, I'll walk off. But it's all okay once they're talking. If they were talking, I could not have been here today. You got ADHD. Uh -huh. ADHD. I yes, got I that thing. Oh, no, no, calm down, calm down. I think I've done enough in terms of taking our team uh, out of trouble from losing. Come on, Lou Taylor. You got, you got screwed. I'm reading the script now, and the first person that comes to my mind to play a detective, yes, but an erratic detective, Mickey <laughs> Rodriguez. Why you not freaking supper in young? Why a man and supper woman? Look, you deal with that. You deal with that. We must encourage platforms like this because it brings together different people and allows for discussions. To, to take place in our country on a multiplicity of fundamental issues. Uh, Kid, are you apologizing for no, something no, 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 you think no, no. I did is wrong? I don't no, want no. you to do that and you should not have done that. Hi there. Welcome to the Freddy Kisun Show with Akash Prasad. March concluded 22 months of this program, and we'll, at the end of each month, we'd like to thank you for making it a success. Uh, we don't have hundreds of thousands of viewers, but we don't have 500 viewers. So thanks a lot. We think we have stayed the course. We have completed 22 months. First thing first, an apology for last Friday. We were ready. We had all our videos queued up to show you things that you must see. I repeat, you must see and know about Guyana because if you don't, you will not act on it. And we're hoping that you will act on it. We'll show you some things this evening. And wherever you are in Iceland, New York, Canada, Italy, Saudi Arabia, these are things you need to know. So we were ready to, to go, and then Blackout came, and that was it. The studio don't have a generator. So if tonight we get cut off, <laughs> suddenly it's Blackout, because we're getting these Blackouts every day. I thought that there was a breakdown, and then that's it. But it looks like there's a breakdown every day. So it looked like there was a general breakdown. So our apologies. Tonight, as the boys would say on the street, we roll. So we we will be bringing you video clips this evening of things you need to know. Akash Prasad has been here with us, and he will be here with us because we'll tell you about Gildari. Gildari has expanded his business, and so it's not possible you know he had four screens in his bank and that took a lot of his time. Now he's, he's expanded into other areas of business and it doesn't look likely that he can make it even um, episodically. We're hoping that episodically he can make it. But Akash is here with us and I think you have become accustomed to Akash. Akash has a long experience in the media he worked for more than 15 years at the Chronicle, and he's been at the Daybreak News Studio here for the past two years, and has been part of the operation on production of the Freddie Kisun show. So, Akash, welcome, Thanks man. Again. Good. So, if you're now joining us, I hope and you will look at the program you will see some of these things we're about to show you now. We're about to show you an underground pipe that is leaking water since the energy conference in February 
at the Marriott. This pipe is broken under the road right at the walking entrance of the Pegasus, right under a very huge tree. That road is going to sink, that tree is going to fall down. And nobody's people, look, you can see the water there. Look, that has been there since the energy conference. That pipe is leaking. The road is already being destroyed. And look, it's under a huge tree there. Right next to the, 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 the Benab, you want to know. Right next to the Benab, as Akasha said, that tree is going to rot and rot. That road is going to come down. Now, this is outside the Pegasus, and you mean to tell me no one from the Pegasus has seen that? No one has seen that, Akash? But the Ministry of Public Works is right around the Black Freddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is leaking since... You see the water is spreading? You see the water is spreading? That has been going on since February. I know this because... I pass there to go on the seawall every afternoon. I go to the Fort Grand Seawall, the Kingston Seawall, outside the bandstand with my doggy. So I know that. So we hope if you just join us, if you haven't joined us, maybe if the calls ease up, we will show you it again. Now let's show you something positive that the colonials came here and didn't do. And the wife of the president, the first lady, has done it. And it is spectacular. It is superb. If you live in other regions of Guyana, one, two, three, outlying areas of region four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and of course, region 11, which is the US, and region 12, which is Canada, region 13, Trinidad. So if you're living in region 11, 12, 13, Look what the First Lady has done. And they are, what, what is the right word to use? They are schools and schools of people there every afternoon enjoying it. Thousands of people every week, thousands of people every week go there. How do I know that? I'm there every afternoon. Yeah, the mystery. Yeah. Now, have you seen that? Now, let's show you something. In our advertisement for the program, we did say we'd like you to call in and offer an explanation for this mystery. If we get time on this program, if there's an ease in the calls for about five minutes, we will show you this again. This is a mystery. If you visited Guyana and it struck you, if you're part of the government and it struck you as strange, if you're part of the citizenry of Guyana and it struck you as strange, it needs explaining. Now, there is something called the medium. You see the medium between the two street, the highway there? The medium separates the highway going east, going west. You call that the medium. You see it's concrete. That's the medium, the median of the East Coast Highway. See, they have taken off. They have, look when there's another part of the median from Sabrianville to Conversation Tree. Look, that has not been concreted. That is still grassy mold, mold with the um, palm trees. Grassy mold with the palm trees. Now, as you go more up, it becomes concrete. So could you call in and tell us why from the guard turn to conversation tree, it's green and it's laden with palm trees. And when, how, why is it, could you explain this? Why when it meets conversation tree, it's concreted and from the guard turn to conversation tree, it's all green. How do you explain that? How could you call in? Our numbers are on the screen. Could you call in and explain that? Why is a part still um, green, still with um, earth, still with the trees, 
and then suddenly it becomes concrete. Um, we'll show you some more, but just let me ask Akash. Akash's father has been a pandit, travel all over this world. Akash has been 15 years with the Chronicle. The right. Chronicle must have taken him all over Guyana. And now he's still um, in the media. Akash Prasad, this is the highway. Mm -hmm. One part here, flowers, earth, grass. Another part here, concrete appears. Please give me your explanation. <laughs> Probably a lot of people has been saying. They were practicing Muslim. What would Allah <laughs> say to them? <laughs> don't know what, don't bring that in. But here what, here what I got to tell you. There are people out there who's been saying that too much of the green spaces are, are too much of the green spaces are being taken up with concrete pave, paving. For instance, the one out here by um Ayangano. You know, between, mm -hmm. between Recension Road and, mm -hmm. and where's the road? Yeah, 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 yeah. By Angana, right? Yeah. What they did, they conquered Thomas it. Road. Thomas Road. No, right. no, no, they can't be Thomas Road. Across the Sandy Bab. Yeah. No, the but one. You got, you got. I'm whole... talking about the one that runs parallel to Recension Road or okay. into the seawall. That's... Okay. But people still refer to it as Orving. Uh, Orving, but it's Sugrim Singh Road. Sugrim Singh Road. That's the name of the road. So people were saying that that Sugrim Singh Road. Um, the, 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 the space between those two, it was a green space with trees and so on. They concrete it. Now, what happened when they concrete it? They concrete it so much that they kill the trees. Yeah, yeah. It killed the trees, I saw, right? I saw, I saw. Yeah, yeah. So there are people who are saying that, look, too many Oh, we green don't space. go any further. They concrete the place. And then somebody said, no, man, don't do that. Stop. Right. And that is why that part by the gut. Perhaps because there was a lot of outcry. There was a lot of outcry on. So um... the person that says stop, he saw it too late, because <laughs> from from conversation tree going right down to talk <laughs> and where I live mm -hmm. and beyond, it's concrete. Yeah, yeah. So when did he I... see that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe they're out of funds, man. <laughs> they couldn't do it anymore. I can't. I pass that thing three, four times I... a day. I have to pass it now yeah, yeah, yeah. tonight when we're leaving at ten o'clock. We leave here. I will see it. But I passed the thing, I wonder why from the garden, mm -hmm. the median is, is in earth and green, and from conversation tree is concrete. They're going to probably plant, plant up some flowers and so on there. In the, in the concrete? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the green space that they have with the palm trees, yeah. with the grasses. They can clear it out, put some flowers and so on. And why they couldn't put that right through? That would have looked nice. Well, as I said, maybe somebody, while they're going through, say, man, look, y'all need to stop this thing, this concrete concrete we need some green space but however i've always been saying that um the maintenance the, the maintenance of those green green spaces um it comes with a cost everything comes with a cost and i'm not saying that you should but have I green space but guyana is a green country you know but it would have been green... nice to have that mm -hmm. median with the flowers there yeah, 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 yeah. i mean yeah the other thing is if you run off if you run into the median you can damage yourself you well, if, it's gra side. if it's a mm. grass, mm. you run onto the grass. Well, you run onto the grass, but you could also run into a palm tree. Oh, so that is, um, oh, you mean, uh, no, but I think you're, you're better off if you run into the palm tree. Okay. I, I, I would think so. But that thing, that thing, Bobby, that thing is a mystery. But our phones are, uh, lines are there. Please call and tell us if you can um, explain that, that mystery. Uh, we have a call? No, no, we have a call. But yeah, so the numbers to call is, you know, 652-1314. That's no, on WhatsApp. Um, you can call us. And by the way, folks, I know a lot of people from the U.S. watch watch this program. I, I follow it a lot. And um, I know you guys had a tremor early in the day, and then you had one later on in the afternoon. Um, you know, what else can we say? you got to be safe. Um, be, be on the lookout. When, when you have a problem in New York, you have a problem in Guyana. That's right. It's almost um, yeah, yeah. half a million people, maybe more. Yeah, well, that is, look, we have a call. Yeah. Hello, good evening. You're on to the Freddie Kisun show. Turn turn off your um, device, please. You think he, that person is going to answer the mystery? Yeah. Hello, good evening. You got a you problem. Need to turn, please turn the um, device down in the background, the volume. We're getting a feedback. We lost that call. Are you there? Yeah. Probably some problem with the phone. But yeah. if if the we got uh call. Hello, good evening. You're on to the Freddie Kisun show.
It's the same person. No yeah, good, good evening. Um, t t um, we're getting a slight feedback. Okay. Look, when you're calling in, we had to terminate our call because when you're calling in, whatever device you're listening to, if you want to hear yourself, don't let's try to listen on the device. Try to listen on your phone. It's better that way because when we have a feedback, we can't get you. We can't hear you clearly. Neither can the viewers who are following the program can hear you clearly. I want, um, in the absence of calls, I want us to show back some of those things. But what has have we got? To... All right. So oh, this, the call. hold on. So let so Freddie. Do we have a call in the line? But let me ask this call. Caller, can you hold one minute for me, please? Because I know who you are. So, Freddie, we want to show something. Because this caller, this particular caller has been calling in for a very long time with a particular problem that you were facing on the... Um, on the uh, what was that? Where the house shaking and so oh, on. Oh. And he's been calling and saying, man, that, you know, the, the area there needs to be done. And he sent me some pictures today of the... People um, doing some you work. Walk some bottom garden. Right, yeah, some yeah. some work there. Um, operator, can you put that up on the screen? Um, they're doing some. They're, they did some pave, some paving work. So um, I'm going to ask the caller to 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 tell us exactly what is happening here. Good evening, sir. How are you doing tonight? Hey, good night to you, Akash and Mr. Kisu. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing great, man. Man, look, I was so happy when I called in. And Freddie was complaining about this house shaking. And I was experiencing the same problem in Roxanne Barnum. Yeah. And I decided to give you guys a call and let you know what was taking place over there. Right. Right after the show, I wrote the president, I wrote Norton, I wrote uh, Ezra and a couple of other people there. And I expanded everything that was happening. I even sent them the photographs of the truck coming through the neighborhood, etc. Subsequently, this week, I was surprised to get some information that they started doing the road, and the road is completed. Wow. <laughs> well, I hope I hope it alle alleviates the issue that you were having, the, the problem that you were having, and that that issue is solved in some way or the other. What? I even I I was ever informed that somebody that was driving the trucks was told not to drive any of those trucks through the neighborhood anymore. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! So I want to thank you guys for highlighting that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank the persons who were listening to your show that acted on behalf of the people in Roxanne Bonham. I want to give them a big cheers out, you know, a big enough respect to, uh, to those guys out there, you know. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. came in and completed their job because our neighbors on North Front Road was, was definitely suffering from that nightmare. Mm-hmm. So, so man. Kish and Freddie... I want to thank you guys for the okay, program. No, 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 thank that, you for don't worry, my don't, don't, don't worry, sir. That's our job. No, but 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 um, you see, the thing is, right? These are the kind of stories that we love to hear. That that there is some impact. There's something has happened, and it's good that um, it's good that you got the situation sorted out. But what you did also, what you did also, I mean, yes, you're calling, you hi you highlighting on the show. But what you did, you took action by writing to the relevant people, whether they're relevant or not. You wrote them, and. Something would have had to be. Something would have had to give. And in this case, the situation is sorted. And I'm happy to hear Akash, also that. Yeah, go ahead. Akash, I had to take it upon myself to get that situation resolved because I knew it would affect the entire neighborhood. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I had to step up. You understand? I represent those people there because they were being silent about it, and then they were complaining behind their voices. And I decided, no, that's not going to work. I'm going to call you guys. I'm going to highlight it to the president and the vice president and the opposition leader and all these people. And somebody decided to get it done. Well, that is that is that that, that is great. I mean, what it shows also, caller, is that sometimes you have to take. You just can't sit down and wait for things to happen. You have to take a little bit, little bit more uh, action. You have to get aggressive. You have to speak up. You know what I'm saying? It may hurt some people, but you got to speak up, my friend, because right opposite me in East Rand Belt, if you go over there, all those roads, those cross streets are fixed already. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a massive yeah. massive road work going on on Aubrey Barker Road um, down in South there. Yes. Well, I want to thank you guys for taking the call, and I want to thank you guys for opening up the lines to me so I could have expressed, you know, my concerns, and um, I'm, I'm thankful to the authorities that listened, and um, I want to give them my... Um, my praises and my thanks and my gratitude. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming through and thanks for your support. I know you're always on the show. Thanks for your support and uh, may the rest of your Ramadan be fruitful. You too, my friend. If I don't talk to you, have Eid Mubarak. Uh, Eid Mubarak to you too. Have a good okay, one. Okay, my brother. Thanks. Bye-bye.
Well, Freddie, um, this is this is such a good thing to hear that somebody's issue was fixed. Mm. Um, the man said, he, uh, hopefully now that the big trucks will be passing through there, they won't be shaking up his home and all of that. Um, I wish that we can have more of these kind of um, success stories, you know, people calling in to say that that um, perhaps not not just because of just of the show, like this gentleman was saying, he um, he sent in a, a, a letter to um, to the various authorities and, uh, and they fixed well, it. Well, the thing about the thing about it is that if you have a thousand more like him, mm -hmm. things get done. There are no calls. So let's show back what is happening outside the Pegasus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but Freddie... We have to show back again some of those things we show. Look, this is, this is a pipe under the road that has burst since the energy conference in February. It is, it is damaging that part of the road. It's in front of the western gate of the Pegasus. It's right next to the Yumana Yana, and it's under a huge tree that is already old. There's a pipe leaking there under the road since February. It's going to cause serious structural damage in that area in mm -hmm. three forms. The road is going to collapse, the tree is going to fall, and the Yumana Yana it's going to be damaged. So we're talking about the whole of March and a week in February that this thing has been like that. Look, the pipe is right under that tree there. But, well, Freddie, here, here's, here's, here's a little bit more mysterious to me with this one, is that the ministry yeah, public works. Oh, public works is five minutes away walk from there, you know? Which means... In, that's in Fourth Street, right? But which yes. means that that is outside the Pegasus. Yeah, yeah. And Fourth Street is the cross street there. Yeah. That means that they have to pass there. They have to see it. But, but I don't... Rain has not been falling, so it can't be rain, rain water collecting on the road. But that's a big... That's a little bit more of a mystery to me. That if the ministry is very so so close by, I mean the minister I come out he can and tell nobody for go and fix it. I'm sure there are other staff who are passing there, junior, senior, and various levels. But Freddie, there is another thing going on in the seawall here. Um, care to share? Oh, that's they're trying to save. Oh, let's show you this. This the ocean is coming in onto the beach and taking up beach space right outside the roundabout, right outside the wrong house. So they, they're trying to save the beach by doing riprap. This is right outside the wrong house where the, um, the first lady has landscaped the seawall. The, the Ministry of Work said that the ocean is taking up the beach. So they, they're doing riprap there. That's very, very commendable. Do you know when it comes off? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. I'll tell the Guyanese people something that maybe few of them would know. You see that effort to save the beach. Mm -hmm. Do you know at Luziknan, the ocean has taken up? A huge part of the beach. There was a coconut. Coca. Yeah, the coconut out in the sea. There now, was right? a coconut. There's a coconut out in the ocean. Yeah, 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 yeah. So imagine that was land. That's right. And, yeah. uh, and people used to tend to that coconut. <laughs> so if you look at where that coconut is, yeah, 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 to yeah. the beach now at Luzik Nan, that's a huge part that they've been taking yeah, up. It's... The past 80 years is a call. Hello, good evening. A very good evening to you, sir. Very good evening mm -hmm. to you, too. Um, is it, this program is just confined to what we're seeing with the roadways, the concrete, etc. is open for other uh, issues. Uh, open, it's open. I um, I I I will recall. I'm I calling on this uh, on a report on what's happening within the 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 why would say the procurement system within the country that contractors. I have two things to see. This is one, and I have one more um, issue. With contractors that in a contract at one ministry, 
millions of dollars. Work is not finished, but they go and get another contract at five other ministries. One contract is getting about eight jobs at different ministries pertaining, and this run into millions. Millions of Guyana dollars. Is this the procurement system? Is this the procurement law? That you can gain a contract from a government institution. And you will finish one. But you go and get another one. And then another one. While other contractors deny, deny getting jobs. And this one contract alone carry about nine to ten different jobs at different ministries. That is one. And my final, um, I, this one is for the opposition and the Ministry of Labor. This is very much important. Um, I have a neighbor, a very, um, a very nice person who is a security guard and she would have to leave her house every night. Um, she have a girl, child, etc. Single parent, and go to work, etc. And what's not? Well, there was here was the here was here was the issue here. So I decided to find out, but you know, why she got to be working all these hours, and you know. This is a citizen of, of this country, of a great country, Diana. And when you heard about the security guard working for 300 on how much dollars an hour, you calculate it by eight and calculate it by five, eight to 40 hours, supposed to be completed every week or wherever, and check the pay. I wanted the Ministry of Labor to hear this here. If that is satisfied, if you would have a citizenry of a country, a mother would be working six, twelve, how much hours? Fourteen, fifteen hours a day to have a child. I'm not only talking about the mother, but the father. Absent from the home. Who is the which is the guard service of? The guard the, the, the guard service is it's the thing just asked. You have a pen there? Is what, what? Was it? Right? Was it anybody guard service? Uh, now, here the thing is. What is the name of the guard service, here, sir? Here, here, let me go. Let me, let me, so, you're making an accusation of exploitation yeah, okay. by a guard service. I asked you for the third time. No, no, here. If it's not I, fictional and it's here, real, what is the name of the guard service? Here, here the thing. So, what is the name of the guard service? There is no hear this thing. I am asking to hear the name of the guard service. Here, sir. So it, it, I'm going to cut you off. This is the Wait government it. where it is. This is the government what? This is the government where it's 300 and something dollars an hour. We have to check that. I don't know government security gets $300 an hour. The government, this is the government where it's 300 and something. Dollars an hour for a security guard. That's I, the uh, at which minute, you know which which security guard the government it, has. A matter of fact, any security guard you can check. What? It's free. Any security guard. Where? Which ministry this guard is working at? Here, you can even check the Ministry of Agriculture. So, check so this no. lady, so they got other people waiting to call. You yes. have a mother. That is yes, working sir. for three. Yes. Which ministry yes. is she working at? So, hold on. Is it, hold on. Let me ask you something. Is this a private security company? He says it's a government, government security. security. I don't know government have security. It's a private security service. Well, if it's a private security, didn't I ask you three times for the name? And instead of telling me the name, you tell me it's a government. So, so, a lot of yes, people I have to come to government. It's a government. The government waits it. But I don't want to hear that. But, but, I want to hear the name of the guard service that you're making the accusation. And I'm giving you three... three you know, you come here 
and you make the he come here and he make this uh, these accusations and he's not prepared to say and he heard clearly you asked him what's the name of the guard service he jumped and said that's government minimum wage if there was a guard so government minimum wage is not three hundred dollars an hour so that, that that you know if you call it in you got to be more responsible than that all right let, let. hello good evening good evening i'm um, sorry uh yeah i gotta i, I got a little issue on this road here right well we're, we're, um up east coast road here from from them bridge them road them bridge mangapur bridge agriculture bridge bv bridge go down to success bridge from the main road this thing is an issue and this thing is a dangerous thing by even to rice loss rice loss bridge where you're coming down them the bridge they high and the and the road they're low and then things just are just a bust up your shots turn up your tires them you understand bust up the canter by just you understand why the government now see and tell them Chinese people is from make this road them long long short short them people must let them go and fix this thing this thing that can damage is bad to people vehicle you understand something you forget Something you forget to say them to where this thing is, where this thing is, which are the bridges? Which are the bridges? The government seems like they, like they don't care anymore, but them Chinese people is um, think with them with them road this was damaged. Sir, um, my brother Kisu, this thing got to be fixed by this thing got to be addressed. Okay, where are the bridges? This, um, BV. This is for the railway embankment? No, not the railway embankment, the, the, the double, the four lane. Okay. Yeah, what the we, what, what we call, what we normally call seawall, I hear seawall road. Yeah. Yeah, you can address this problem, by This thing is a serious problem, and you have this thing that turn up all your tire them and them thing, by Sometimes, sometimes when you remember your go for school, sometimes when you never remember, you know, this thing a boss, this, this, this thing a boss up your power, then you can damage all the steering in. The all right, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, device. yeah, you explain that it's to us. Easy thing, Okay. All right. All right. This need to be addressed. I'm glad if one of the, the ministry, one of the or um, somebody listen and, and, and I tell them, them Chinese people, and just let them go fix them problem, but it. Yeah, Why are you saying Chinese people? They is a Chinese company build the road, build the budget. Yeah, but it's the Chinese that build the road. Well, when the Chinese build the road, I would I would want to think that there is gonna be somebody who's gonna be checking it back to make sure it's all right. Oh God, maybe them check it, maybe the road think maybe what something so, that will be done. So you said something there. You said something there, and there is a there is a somebody who's online right now, um, and I'm watching the comment. He said that the roads sink at the bridge. So perhaps that is what happened. Mm -hmm. like the no, like I understand. Yeah, yeah. Drive over there, but it, we're human beings. We got expensive vehicles. But, but, but we're again. Again, as, as as we're as we're suggesting here, that perhaps it was when it was built, it was level, but because the road is the, re, the road sunk, that is why there's a stop. But, but again, but again, it has to be it's fixed. I agree. It's it has to be issue. fixed. Um, you understand? Hmm. This thing is a is an issue. I want to get done. Land with you guys because it seems like nobody even cares anymore. You know. All right, man. Thanks for coming through. Well, let's hope that let's hope that it, people are listening and get it get fixed. All right. Oh my God, I really need this to happen, my brother. I really, really need this to happen, my brother. <laughs> I I can understand. I can hear the point, pain in your voice. All right. Have a wonderful evening. Okay. So, um, guys, I, I, a lot of people are in the comments. Um, you know, you can call or you can send. You know, if you want to, if you want to say something, you can actually send it in the comment. If you're not going to call, I will try to. As long as it's, oh, you got to have a call coming through. I, I can understand. I can hear the voice in your voice. Hello, good evening. Can you turn the device down in the background, please? We can hear our, our feedback. 
Hi, good evening. Are you there? Yeah. Good, go ahead. Good night. Yeah, we're hearing you. I was employed PGS Security Service. I worked on hours like 40 something, 50 something hours on a location. Mm -hmm. Also, also, I, I get the ranks work on a location 100 or something hours with a weapon, a firearm. Don't get relief. And we, they were not were giving the people a meal. I mean, the six or the, the commanders, you have three shift commander, each commander collecting money from the duty room from give the ranks and meals and they were giving them. You know something, Saul? Yeah. Don't, 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 don't that, that, that story that you're telling me, mm -hmm. I can't describe how the anger, the frustration I feel about certain type of people in this country. You know they have civil society groups in this country. That should, they have groups that speak, these people are, are just damn sickening. They got groups in this country that say they're for women's rights. Do you know the majority of exploited victims of security services, private in this country, are women? But they're concerned with oil. They're concerned with um, getting publicity. And you know how long this exploitation of security personnel has been going on in this country? And guess who, who knows about it? I know about it because the people come and tell me. I intervened three times with the National Service and two times with the owners of guard service about how they treat these people. And that is why you need these civil society groups to stop this stupidity about oil, 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 and concentrate on helping poor women. You, know, what, you make a note of that guard service? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What, what's PGS for? Professional guard service. But, but they've been around. They've been around a long time. Yeah. They've been around a long time. They should have been a. You need to call his name. Who is? The director. Money director, Carl Patrick. Yeah, that. Carl Patrick. Yeah, that has been. That has yeah, been. Yeah, this one of the oldest guard services. Yeah, this one of the oldest guard service. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's it's, it's in Sabai. Like, it's in Sabayanville. Like I know. I know where it is. It's in it's in Sabayanville. Um, a hundred and something hours. Wow. I don't you know, give them people meals. You don't get their food for it. You don't have them give meals. Do you do you, do you, do you know? Do you know exploitation of security guards by private security company is one of the worst forms of exploitation taking place in this country? And it's nobody see. I I'm fed up. The past 10, 15 years hearing about this thing, it has to stop. I take this matter to um, the labor, one the labor minute, the labor inspector. Her name is Miss West, says she can't do nothing about it. The labor inspector, uh, could, could you? Her yeah, name is Miss West. I take my Me, matter to Spell her last name, West? W E S T. She's the labor inspector. W E S T. She's a labor officer. She's a labor officer, right? Yes, and I talked to her. She said, "There's nothing I like to do is that I have to go collect me pennies, me and me salary." I, I will call. I will call. But you see, that's the problem. I have to use my own credit and call West. And if I continue to do it, we don't get paid for this program. This program, if you're I'm listening, you this, program to, to your this program <laughs> needs to. This program needs to. This program needs to. No, no, sorry, no, sorry. No. This program yeah. needs to bring in some money for us. So, <laughs> anyway, right, so All right, yeah, thanks for coming through, man. Um, Freddie has taken, we, we've, I've taken information here. Let's see what's, what can happen, well, all right? The Labour well, officer can um, Minister well, Hamilton well, would well, never well, tolerate well. that. I'm going to speak to Minister Hamilton. Now, listen, take my cell number, 614-5927. 5927. Yeah, yeah. And mm. call me and I, I will talk Monday, to Minister Monday. Hamilton. All right, thanks for coming. You have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Have a blessed night. Yeah, good. Ready?
Uh, if you know, you know, you know who are most the people who are working most in the security of women and some elderly women to partner, some women in the who finish who retired and they still got you know mm. they, they want to go work gotta gotta go earn. Well, you could imagine, you could imagine, there are women groups in this country where mm. tread the um uh, anyway. Mm. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening, Akash. Good evening, Freddie. Good evening. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, you no, know, I got a complaint, man. Um, I know you're going to fed up hearing this, but GRE. I think they had a day for license for addition. But then I got 60 people cramming a room at any one time. Wow. Uh, and this is for so what? Addition right. to a license, GRE. Addition to license? Yeah. GRE. Yeah. Let's say you got a car, you want oh, to you want? Different, um, go to the lottery and all of that. Oof. That's what you mean, right? That's the addition. Yeah, I yeah. But well, don't don't talk about GRA, please. <laughs> I got to renew my license. I I am afraid to go. I don't I don't have to drive with an expired license Freddy, and take my chance. I'm not going into GRA. Hour, when I reach to the desk now, with the carrying the six to go in to get the service. The staff who brings you in bring two persons in front of you. And when I query it, I hear that that is the supervisor. That is a staff of the police. Wow. You sit down for three and a half hours, and mm -hmm. then they put two persons in front of you, and you can't say nothing. And the guy was kind of rude to you, so he didn't really know one, you know, sorry, ma, we have been out of staff or something. Mm -hmm. Respond to you in a rude way, like, you know, you, you got to take away, you got to forget, they, they, you know, this is what we're giving you. Why should 60 people be in a room just to right, add on, just to add on your driving arm? Uh, uh, Motola, Rio, Motola. The room when you left, I, 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 look. The entrance of the room when you left. If you go, if COVID the part, no? Look. There's a nice part. Let, let, let me say this to uh, all of you who are looking now and will look at this program. I, about an hour ago, I met the president. I, I gave a talk. I gave a talk at the Central Islamic Organization in Wolford Avenue. And right when my talk finished and I was coming on the step, Fasting and ended, and I saw the president, and he put his hand over my shoulder and said, Fasting is finished, come, let's eat. I have never seen a, I've been around a long time. I've never seen a politician so nice. Oh, no, the guy is good, the guy. I, I think this oh, guy's going to quit. But I'm going to tell you this. He is going to come, and his time is going to finish in the next seven years, and he's going to put this country on the map. But we're going to hear how she's gone about GRA, about the police. Those are things I feel that have no explanation in Guyana and will go on. I, no, I think there's an explanation. I saw, a, you know what I saw police when, did, Akash? No, 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 no. don't have pride in what they do. I, don't, I think that's the explanation. No, I have pride in the job. So, so we're going to have oil. UG is going to be free. And a lot of schools or hospitals are going to be built. And you're going to hear about GRA. You're going to hear about a, a water under a, the road outside Pegasus by Humanayana. I see it every afternoon. I go to the seawall. So in the next 10 years, we're going to be a top-class country. And you're still here for the security. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Don't worry. Look, look, the, the, workplace, the, the workplace culture in Guyana, you know. the workplace no, culture. No, no, no. Culture. I think it's a, it's a strange part of Guyana that a... I don't think anybody could explain, and I don't think it will ever change. Yes, I do receivership management, and if security company is a mess because they don't make remittance to the NIS people. And when you go, uh, we had a case where we went into a receivership for um, close one company, we ain't turn up. You hear the company name change, and the same staff there. They were in the last uniform, and everything changed, and the staff is still there, even though they're getting abused. They're still there. They don't care. Because probably they don't have an option. The security um, problem is a mess. I hear you were talking about them earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Um, but what is wrong? What is them guys, right? the guys in a, in a no? League. But what is what is wrong about this country? Is if you are giving millions of dollars a month to security service, you have a business, and you and you hear this happening. Morally, you withdraw your business, your patronage right away. You know who are the people who employ these security guards? Top class company, including the government of Guyana. Definitely. They work, they work at ministries, they work at public office. And the people the government should not only withdraw 
the opportunists will charge them. Mm. But the people who are actually doing the work get nothing. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. And that's the sad part. Sad part, Guyana is sad. I, I, I really do like our finale, and I think he's going to. Oh, I, create, I like the, I like finale, He's going yeah. to create wonders, but no Ali's going to leave in 2030. Yeah. I hope by then Anil Nandalal comes in. He's going to do just as good. But uh, you're going to see. You're preempting, Freddie. Huh? You're preempting the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like him. I do uh, like. I do uh, like him. Uh, let me ask. Let me get this to you. A gentleman on the um, Flatty Singh is saying that security security services should be unionized. Yeah, they should be. Yeah, well, with the kind of unions we got, the people yeah. should get the leadership of unions. Uh, just, ju just jumping from the um, car to the jambi. <laughs> you jump from the car and you reach up with the jambi standing up there. So and the next thing you know, he gave you a jambi lash. <laughs> no, no, that's not a problem. You got even there. All right, so. Yeah, thank you. All right, man. Thanks for coming through, yeah? Yeah, man. Good night. Mm. <laughs> no, those security guards are badly exploited, Freddy. man. But how, how the government of Guyana could be employing a security firm that works people over time and don't pay them. That's not all, Freddie. A lot of these people who work in security are over 60 mm -hmm. years old. Oh, I met a lady from... from they um, need the money, man. They need yes. The money. And then people got to go to late, 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 work all night and all of that and some serious conditions, yeah. too. Hello, good, good evening. evening. Hello, good night. Good night. I'm calling from Boris, man. Okay. NIS. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife got changed the name, right? One year now, she didn't get no, no money. One year since last like, year, February, she get money. And she didn't get back money up to her. Everything she got in New Amsterdam, they're working on it, they're working on it. Just a change the name. One year finished, and she didn't get no money. And, and did they say, what is the problem? Just change, she changed one name to, to another name. Mm hmm Right? That is a big thing. All she has to do is to produce the document yeah, of name change, up, up the, and it yeah. goes into the system. The deep poll. Yes, yeah, she, 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 she produces deep poll and everything has the document. Tell me something. Isn't there, isn't there a party office for the PNC, the PPP, ANUG, or what these political parties? Don't they have an office that you could go to them and say, look, man, you were yeah. elected. We elected you. I have this problem. Where you live, Saul, is there a, 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 a member parliament has an office or something? Well, I went, I, I, I get to understand that uh, in your office, I went to the Freedom House and I told them there. Mm -hmm. So they tell me that they're going to call. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thanks for calling. We have another call on the line. Yeah. Bye-bye. Right. Thanks for coming through. Hi, good evening. You're, you're on to the Freddy Kisun show. Hi, good night. Good night. Yeah. I'm calling. Um, why don't y'all address somebody address this passport office? Well, I was going oh, to talk oh, about oh, wait, that. wait, wait, wait. Don't go further. Yeah, yeah. I What I saw there, I went home and I told my wife, I can't believe this mm. is still going on, Saul. You, you yeah, talk about passport. Be. We planned yeah, last yeah, week, hello. Friday. We didn't have a show last week, Friday, and we plan to talk about it. As a, matter so fact, ahead, as a matter of fact, Carla, let me, let me add to this before you go on to say that I have my passport and my document, my passport expire, expires next week, I think. Oh. And I have my document and I have my passport and I rue going there because you got to reach there at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. Before yes. you, and when you yes. reach there, you got 10 or 100 people on the down already. Yeah. Why the president don't get into this and intervene into that? They got a bribe to get a day of passport here. Hello? Yes, yes, we're hearing you. You got to pay a bribe to get it here? But do you know, sir, when we first started this program almost two years ago, in the call in, two years ago, that was one of the yeah. complaints. Passport was So one 22 problem. gone, 23 gone. And somebody in 24 is still calling about the same thing. Well, you know, it's not that you're calling about it. It's there on social media every single day. You're seeing it. All right, so thanks for coming through. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. One more thing. The traffic chief needs a lot. He should get on this program and like when he should invite him. You know why? Oh, and we invite, we invited all of them. Traffic chief, crime chief, thing. Can't you drag them to the program. Motorcyclist. Riding on this road, ridiculous. 
No form of them is still part of you have like you, nothing at all. And you driving your car for the road, it's pulling that out of your document. They're how pulling you over. Um, for check. <laughs> what are you pulling over, Jack, right? No, no, no. Listen to this. Listen to this. If you don't know your rights or you don't want to know your rights, you're going to become a slave. No, I'm not the right police, the there. police, the police standard operating procedure is to stop a vehicle when they observe the commission of an offense. If there is an anti-crime roadblock, it's different, uh, but a no. traffic cop, a traffic car cannot stop you on the road and ask you for papers. Get they cannot. Traffic, traffic. Get that traffic police squad, police riding on the road. I know those anti-crime um, guys, yeah, yeah. those yeah. guys okay. harass people, that yeah. That's one point. Why is this? I want to invite the traffic chief, but if you get to talk with him, Everybody, they that that can talk the whole vehicle. All the police members from it, all the police them, Mr. Ben can answer that, all the police them got can from it. All right, man. All right, so. Thanks for coming. Surely we take some other calls, right? Yeah. Freddie. Well, uh... Honestly, I, I have my passport mm. to look after, but... I, I, I'm sorry for you, Akash. Hello? Hello? Oh. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm telling you this, my... Hello, good evening. You're on to the Freddie Kisun Show. Hi, good evening, Akash. How are you, sir? Very well, thanks. And Freddie's here, yeah? <laughs> I must congratulate you guys for the wonderful job you're doing. Um, however, I must say, um, I, I am a staunch supporter of the PPP. Let me put this out there. But I think, I think that their downfall will be the handling of GPL. And, 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 and it's, it's, it's atrocious. And um, I, I quite understand that there may have been some mishandling during the, the tenure of the AFC, but the blame game that's going on, you're in there now, and, and you have to sort it out. And the, the blame game that they're trying to throw on the coalition, um, it's not cutting it for me, and, and I think that they have to do they have to do a lot as it relates to GPL, or else GPL will be their downfall. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, sir. Thanks, thanks for your comment. We need comments like that. Yeah, I, I, you talking about you dread going into GRA to your to passport Port office, yeah. I dread going into GRA to uh, renew my driver's license. Freddie, you can know. you on? Can, this, well, you know, it's, it's unfathomable to think that by six o'clock, right? They got 200 people lined up at the passport office by six o'clock and the people cut off the line because they can't take more than 200 people at six o'clock. Hello? Hi. Most of you is the same song on a different DJ at the time, right? Sorry? Same song uh -huh. on a different DJ. Okay. Expand. No, you're not going to UG. Mm -hmm. UG is underground, right? They can't be common sense. And the same song I'm saying on a different DJ. I understand what you're saying, but I expand on it. No, I, I want to expand or inspand. It's the same thing okay. over and over all the same, right? Okay. All right. All right, right? Yeah, both of y'all take care and all the best, and that's about it. We know what, we know what you mean, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. You know what you mean. Thanks. Thanks for coming through. Yeah. You know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, course. I know, yeah. But, uh, um... I'm sorry. I'm right. Yeah. It's off. Yeah, so guys, you can call in, um, you know, uh, I see somebody saying, Freddie, I went to GRA to renew mine, and it was very professional and well done. So BB Backwards had a very good, um, had a very good experience. Well, that, she had that, the man who called said mm -hmm. there were 60 people in the room. I know for a couple of times that I've been there, it, it's deterring, and I, I am afraid, I, I take a point, but I'm, I'm afraid 
of what I have seen to go there um, to renew my driver's license. Um, the passport office, I, I know what I have seen last week. And I went home and told my wife what I saw at the passport office. We have a caller. Hello, good evening, sir. Yes, good evening, gentlemen. This is the Freddie Kissing Show. Yes, yes you are onto the show. Hello? Yes, good evening. You're on your live. Yes, uh, I'd like to make a couple of comments. Um, one, I must uh, say that uh, the interview I saw with the president on BBC, very mm -hmm. commendable for a leader to take that stand. I haven't seen much write up of the positivity of that in the dailies in Guyana. All I see is about oil and oil and GPL. Well, stop there, the stop there. Was... Stop there, stop there. You have to read the dailies yeah. every day, you know. I wrote a column praising the president. I do a daily column in the Chronicle. And I, I no, did... No, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying there isn't, but I didn't see as much as I would have liked to. Have but I hope, you, I hope you saw mine. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. I read your column, basically everyone that you write in the Chronicle. Okay, yeah, go, go uh, ahead, sir. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. The other thing, too, is that this GPL, this... Uh, I mean, since I'm a kid, uh, 11 years old, old I've been facing this blackout. I mean, I'm, I'm in my 70s now. No, it's the same I'm here, same here with me. <laughs> I'm in my 70s yes. now. Yes, <laughs> that's right. And this thing, but you know, come to think of it, why is the president has to go and call a forum and bring these people who, they, who he appoint or who took those positions to rectify all the, the, the mishandling? Why is it he got to do that? And whenever he takes, whenever he takes a tour in the communities, an entourage of people, he going and meeting people, which is not bad, but he, he paid people to do these, these jobs, these functions. You know, when he said, like, he had to create this riot, this uh, riot. We do riot, riot act. We do riot act to them. Yes. And you know who, who, who fall behind that? The junior minister in, in public works, he came out and said that because of what happened in the president need to know. He didn't know that the president was probably referring to him too. You know, these are people in position. Now, why this blame game? You blame the, the previous government. You were there for four years, man. What have you done? And I'm not blaming the president. What I'm saying, you got to put people in, in, people who can take care of these things. You know, and this is, and the same thing goes for GRE and every other ministry that malfunction. Oh in God, so oh, when people don't function. I'm not a believer. I just said, oh God, so but so you left out the passport office. You don't want yes. to go. You don't want to pass by there, sir. <laughs> you don't why, want to pass there. Yeah, but why we don't distribute some of those functions in in other areas? I mean, mm. look, for example, I, I, if I recall, I mean, you're going to pay a, a phone bill. You could go on these these uh, outlets sure, or whatever. Pay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, pay, and, and pay. Can they do that with a passport? See, I'm, I'm just going to give you an example. If, I, if I'm living in rural areas, say, Hobo or something, they have an outlet there. You know, you collect all the information in the passport. You have one person take that information and go to the passport office. Yeah. What's so wrong with that? Can somebody think about these things? The thing is what the government doesn't have people who think out of the box. I don't know if you could even find the box to begin with. You know, that's the problem we have in this country. And that, yes, you hear about criticism. And don't forget, I mean, we're only 60, 65 years after independence. We still have a far way to go. I understand that. But if we don't see the vision today that where we want to go, how are we going to take these steps? We gotta put people in place who see the vision of the president. You don't get, put people in place because they support your party. They're gonna be the downfall of the government, and you have to look deep into that. You I... know the fiasco we have. You yes, know. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one final, one final thing for you guys. I mean, I know you you guys don't get paid, and you know you, you don't want to use up your phone bill and things like that. But have you ever considered on doing ads on your program? Maybe that could, you know, well, offset the, some of the expense. Yeah, we're we're in the process of um we're in the process of doing so. If you know if you know of anyone or you um any, any businesses in in the are you, I know you're calling from um from outside of Guyana. If you know of anybody who would like to come on yeah. board, um they can make contact with me. My number is six five two thirteen fourteen, and um we have yeah. we have a package available actually. Okay, I appreciate.
appreciate it. And good work, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks for coming, Chu. Hello? Yeah, bye-bye. Hey. Hello? Hi, yeah, good evening. Sir. Good evening, Akash. Good evening. You know, under the coalition, there was no line at the park. What happened? Um, perhaps I, 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 perhaps I, I don't, I don't. Uh, no, no, no. Hold on. Yeah. Um, what's your point, sir? The line at the park, what office? Under the coalition government, there was no line there. There was no line under the coalition government. I am uh, telling you uh, that. Okay, okay. I, 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 I think I, I, yes, I went there to renew my passport in 2060. When did I renew my passport? Mm -hmm. I think I renew my passport in 2018. Yeah, or 20. 20 2019, I, I, I did Yeah, but at least the last time I've been there. Um, no, you didn't have that long line. Mm -hmm. I am telling you, personal experience. Let, let me see the when I renew my passport. GPL, under this rich government, this island government, how can you go and buy refurbish generator for about doors of bring it here and they're not working and that is a blame game you move for a thing they have gpl put man the loud brother what color do you gpl no man don't say that's all don't say um use a use a um i know the, you, you use the word corrupt the whole gpl use a better word withdraw that word and use a more acceptable word that change up things badly or undermine things but yeah. don't use so the word the no i know the i know the gentleman i know the gentleman I'm, a few years ago he's not he's not an incompetent you, man you, so is every aspect this government failing are you trying to defend them they're failing all over no i would i wouldn't i wouldn't support that so i think the I person, fail. No. So, if you're anti-government, you have a right to express your views. I am not and, for anti-government. But, but you can't say... Yes, I know that. But you can't say they're failing. We have a fine president, man. You have to admit that. Hey, man, we got a fine president and you are some authority over 40. What? The man passed away from a fine So, 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 I'm going to cut you up. That's getting personal. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Um, I, I don't know if you meant it as a joke or what, but you don't do that. You don't what do that. What nonsense is he talking yeah, about? Yeah, you don't do that. I'm sorry I got so worked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He referring to the man's waist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I should have kept him on the program and, and referred to his mind. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, let, let's not let's not get personal with people, man. I can't I know. believe he said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you don't, you don't, you don't. You, that's you know, you're overstepping, and you know, those are you lines you don't cross. Um, he probably got him from. He probably ran away from some asylum. <laughs> Good evening, um, callers. You can call in, and um, our our numbers are six five two thirteen forty. Get us on WhatsApp, and I see the. Um, I, I can see from the comments a lot of people are enjoying tonight's show. Um, we have quite a large view viewing tonight. Um, six five two thirteen forty on WhatsApp. If you're calling well, us from, if you want to call from the U.S., Canada, well, Trinidad, it, Britain, wherever, from this Iceland. And we have our landline number here too that you can call is two three one twenty nine eighty two. The the thing is, if we put some of those videos mm. on, we may get calls. So, in the meantime, if there's no call coming on, maybe we oh yeah, call yeah, the call can come in. Hello, good evening. You're on to the Freddie Kisun show. Yeah, wonderful. It's two of y'all, and you have two circles in Guyana, you know. One at Dog Park, and the other one in Tai Country. Uh-huh. Two circus we have in. One at Durban Park, yeah, the Suarez um, brothers. And where is where's the other where, 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 where's the other um the two thousand nine hundred club square miles. You can't just take up one square mile. Mm. So you can't complete the three thousand square mile. Two thousand nine hundred square mile, the other one the other circus you get. We have it. Two circuses. All right, okay. good. Thanks for coming through. That's it. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I can. Hello, good evening. Uh, hey, good evening. This is this one is from my friend Akash. Yeah, go ahead. If you need to go to GRE, you see what happens is everybody has the idea that 
you need to get the GRA. Not GRA, right. I got passport office. No. Right, oh, all right. Let me rephrase, Freddy. Mm -hmm. And um Yeah, I gotta go to GRA for when my everybody when everybody goes early, that's when you that's when you get that long line. If you go to GRA anytime after lunch there is no line. Mm -hmm. But I hope so, so I got to renew my driver's license. I am going to take your word for it and go along 2 o'clock. The other thing right. is... That's correct. You don't have... Because the, the whole perception is everybody tries to go early. And, and that is when there are long lines there. Oh, it creates a bottleneck, and, um, yeah? I've, I've been to GRA recently a couple of times. And what I do is I go after lunch every time. And mm. you don't get any lines because they've dealt with everybody, most of the persons in the morning. And, um, and, and, and well, I hope, you I hope, know, I hope you're right. You... I hope you know, I don't know your name or number. I'm uh -huh. taking your word for granted. When it's my driver's license, I'm going at 2 o'clock. And if I don't get you, I'm coming after you, okay? Next week, Friday, coming up for you. <laughs> I, 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 all right. No problem. I'll say this to Akasha, because this is, this is Rishi, eh? Yeah. Oh, oh, hi. Hi, Rishi. Yeah, so you guys have a good night. Okay. All right, good. Bye. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. Freddy, when I, when I look at the line, no and I think it, I got I to gotta leave. I live just across the bridge, right? I got to leave there. Me alone, come down, and then I got to go and park there and go in. A, how, how is that working out, man? Listen. Do you think, though, Freddy, that that we should we should that that you something should be done um, online online I application? I don't travel, so um, uh, I I I don't let me, have let me that anymore. Oh jeez, my goodness! Oh. Hello, good evening, caller. Yeah. Hello, uh, wrong number, please. Okay, uh, all right, good, good. Hello. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, right. sir. Um, I have I have someone who sent a message here, to, um, um, and she says that this is um, Shafira. She says the passport office needs a complete overhaul in terms of its operation. Firstly, they need a new modern building. By eight o'clock, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to this. Take this call. Hello. Uh, Hello. Good evening. Good, good evening, evening, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Congrats to you. Um, I want to touch on this. He's not, he's not getting paid for the program like me. <laughs> the man needs some money. I mean, I'm old and getting on in life now. Yeah, we, the man's we, a we, young man. We're looking out the for man, advertising. The man needs some money. Somebody got to pay the man. The, the Credit Kisun show is the number one talk show in Guyana, and it needs to attract um, money now. Say, so. say you need the money. Say you need some <laughs> so, money. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, though. Yeah. 
faith, this road, our faith, this thing, that of faith, this thing, that of faith. People are only comp people only want to see ministers and presidents. Guyanese only want to see minister and president. So these people now, in the various region and the various they become the head back. They say, all right, you wait the president come and fix it for you. And this is what we are having now. In the agent, in the ministries, people call, um other can complain why the president of the the GPL people, the world, why they do because when you what the president should be doing is in his office and can dealing with his ministers and can help you say, listen, we have so if we don't want it in one area on a road fix, or in one, we have ten regions in Guyana. It means you have to travel ten times for ten times for the for road fix ten times. But you can lose one call and talk to all ten regional chairman one time. That is the work of, of a president. But and um, so these workers now in the various ministries, people complain about these workers in passport office and various places, GR. These people have become laid back. The police, you know why the police watching people doing a lot of runs and, and, and have no time with them? Because everybody knows somebody. When the police stop you to execute his job, you pick up the phone, call somebody, call somebody, somebody call the police officer. The police all right. So the police officers now are just saying, all right. The bygones be bygones. This is what we have in Ghana right now. So on the rest, it is, the thing is being pulled back where people are allowed to function in their capacity and they're paid, properly paid to do their work. This is things on a continuum. People are keep praying and acting and creating. Okay. All right. Thanks. Maybe we have another call coming through. Hello. Good evening. You're on to the Freddie Kisun Show. Hello? Yes. Good evening. You're on. You're on live. Uh, I'd like to make a contribution to your show. Go ahead, man. Good night. Uh, calling from Toronto. Okay. Um, I want to speak about the people um, who selling at the markets, like, you know, those people selling lemon and anything selling there. Isn't it better off they go and learn a trade and make some more money than selling uh, a few little things at the market and hanging out all day at the big market, Penton and or the market? Why doesn't the president go and tell these people go and learn a trade or try to upgrade their life doing something instead of standing up at big market trying to sell two pine or boar or whatever stuff like that? You know, so many people are selling at the markets and on the street. Why doesn't they go and learn a trade or try to upgrade the education or something so they can make some more money? Like the president was saying the other day, he'll have to bring in people into the country to do these jobs. When we have people are hanging out on the streets and, you know, selling a little stand, Guinea, or uh, like, go and learn something. Mm -hmm. Go and be a plumber, go and be an no, no, electrician, to... truck driver, yeah. you know, or nurse or something. But but chief, let like, me let me just let me just, let me just tell on, you hold something. On, yeah. Hold on. So what 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 profession you do, sir? Anyway, I'm a truck driver actually. Okay. Work for Costco. Let me tell you something. I have I have a cousin who sells at Starbucks Market. Not well, a cousin is like more my uh -huh. aunt, my grandmother's sister daughter, uh -huh. right? So my aunt, she sells at Starbucks Market. She sells awara. She sells anything that comes as it's got whatever load coming. They're selling, and I'm telling you that uh -huh. that girl makes thousands of dollars when the day come. I can tell anyway, you that. Anyway, so thanks for coming too. Let's take this. Nothing call. is wrong with that. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong job. with being a vendor. Sorry. Nothing is wrong with that. Yeah, I don't see it, what, it, why. Let's take problem. this call. Let, so why you didn't become a doctor or lawyer? Why are you driving a truck? Why are you driving I'm a driving truck? I'm driving a truck because it pay me a good, a good salary. But how do you the, know those vendors are not being yeah, paid yeah, a good I, salary? So we got to take this call. Thanks for coming through. Hello? Hi, good night, Mr. Kisun. Good night. You know, as I listen to some people, some people calling and making one set of complaint. And these people from overseas, Hello? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, man. You listen to me? Yeah, yeah, we're hearing you. Yeah, these people calling from overseas and making one set of comments. You understand me? But that's what I'm saying. The place gets, the, 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 the country getting so easy. And people still making a lot of comments. Yeah, so and people talking about um, 
CRA and they talking about this and they talking about that and the Bambis and the president. I would do, I see they are to be bringing in some nurses from Bangladesh and I listen to the opposition, two opposition people, um, some correct the McDonald or somebody, but if they don't have the type of they don't have the type of people for carry on the nursing system, we have to bring in people to do the work. I agree. Yeah, because no, no, um, they, we th- they thought they were bringing people from Haiti. The illiterate from Haiti, they got the, the people from Haiti, the illiteracy is between Haiti but 70%. Where are they going to get nurses from Haiti for coming here to this country? And our and, and, and next point I got. The pay is getting easy, the government spending a lot of money, I tell you that last week. But they don't have nobody to look. They have uh, oversight people looking over the work. Especially some REOs, I want to call them, and some regional chairmen. They, some of them don't know the work. Some of them and, 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 and looking over the work. They, know the government, they just do substantive work and collecting the government money. And there's a serious, serious, serious point to that raise. Very serious. I want to call them. On the program, but very serious point. Uh, by the way, all right, Fede. Yeah, okay, yeah. thanks. Bye bye. Hello, good evening. You're on air. Hi, guys. Good evening. I have a su- I, I, good evening. I have a suggestion that might help alleviate the overcrowding and efficiency in mm-hmm. both the public and private large offices. You guys should maybe install like a ticketing um, thing at the entrance where when somebody comes to pull a ticket so you know what order you would be in. And if the office maybe you have 50 or whatever at that time you call off so that you know you have 50 and then you call them by the numbers. Number one, you do. Number two, so you about know, can't board a line and things like that. You understand what I mean? That's, an old, that's an old system. Yeah, well, I don't think the problem is boring the line. The problem but is not boring the line. What happens is the line he, itself. If you've got a ticketing system, somebody can still go to Trini Marne and collect a ticket and go home, sleep and come back till till nine o'clock. No, no, but that's the, the point is many places have ticketing system. Yeah. The the banks, the commercial banks have ticketing system. It's not a, a, a suggestion that should be taken up. It is in operation and it's been like that yeah. for years now. The banks for years now have the ticketing system. But thanks for coming. Yeah, but it don't function then. It's, it doesn't function. It doesn't work. Yeah, you need to go home and come back. When I call your number, if you're in the next, you can't come back when I don't call. No, I no, six no, no. But the point is, the point is, you do have ticketing system. So it's not a, a suggestion. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, but then. It doesn't, it, maybe it's not being worked. It's not yeah. working. Yeah, it's okay. not efficient. Yeah. Mm, good. Okay. Thanks. All right, good, good. Yeah. Let me let me just let's just call this person sending this thing they said and there's a suggestion the passport office needs a complete overhaul in terms of its operation. First need they need a modern building. By eight o'clock the washroom is flooded, literally inches of water. What they need are automated machines that snaps your photograph as soon as you enter, similar to what is used at airports overseas. Then you proceed to one of the cashiers. There should be a minimum of five cashiers to check your documents and make sure and make payment. They issue receipts with a return date. The musical chair and, uh, that citizens are being subject to currently, whether they are old or young, ill, um, is utterly ridiculous. And this is a good suggestion. I, I believe, Freddie, that we reach a stage in, in we're so modern in this world that we still be archaic. But we should have this online pr- procedure where you snap a photograph. Everybody have a smartphone. Well, you phone to take a picture to Freddy. Give me your well, phone. I have, take a I have WhatsApp on this now. <laughs> Freddy Look, said, I put WhatsApp on it. Look. <laughs> Freddy said you put WhatsApp on your mango. Yeah. Would you believe Freddy damaged 14 mango pelter? Nobody can damage a mango pelter, and Freddy damaged 14 uh, mango pelters. Call, call. Yeah. Hello. Hello? Yes, yeah. good evening. Hi, good evening. Um, I have more. There's a call there. No, no, no. There's a call. We wait. wait. No, no, the no, one no. we lost, the one there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Take care. Take care. We lost that call. 
Hello, good evening. You're 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 live on here. Yeah. Um. Good night, sir. Good night. Uh. Um. Uh, concern concerning this. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. We're okay, listening to you. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Concerning this this blackout where we get in, right? We understand. We understand that there is more. There is more. There is more things that. Um, you know, people have built a lot, a lot of homes that have been given out, a lot of people doing a lot of things, you know, and, um, so... We don't know the volume, we're hearing ourselves at the back. That's the reason, that the reason why the, 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 the blackout is, is so constant, right, because a lot of people using energy, mm -hmm. we have to understand, but we have a good government that placed in this country, and I'm sure... He will do something about it. It's just time, you know. It's just time. I have faith that he will. He will. He will upgrade and do something about it, you know. And concern the passport office. That thing is so true. We need to upgrade that passport thing and put a better system in those kind of things, you know. Let mm. it get better, you know. Better system now, you know. But we cannot. We cannot peel for everything at one time. The government is only three years, three and odd years in the country. So we cannot want everything at the same time. We have to be patient and wait. People got to understand that, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, these foreigners that call in from foreign and everything, you know, them was a low life here in this country one <laughs> time when they left and go and, 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 and go where they are. You know, there was no life in this country before the, 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 they used to work with a whole shot and pants all over the place till they get through and go to Canada and America and things. And now when they reach there, they feel like they're in powerhouse. So, 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 so. You have to wait, so, idiots. You gotta wait. You gotta wait on your turn, you damn idiots. Okay, you know? so, so. You wait, bro. You make your point. We got, we, this, time this is going on us. Like time is you going on us. Okay, let's take this call. You damn idiots. Okay, let's take this call. Hello? Hello? Hey, yeah, Freddy. Uh, these people. Uh, we talking about. Let me, I got two points to make. Yeah. We got this. Um. We got this. Um. This electricity thing. You know, there's a lot of new houses building in this place. That's why, and the people put in a lot of AC and these kind of things. Yeah, Sam. Mm -hmm. The people put in a lot of AC on the place and the uh, and this thing. But uh, you can't blame the government for this blackout right now. With this hot, with, 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 with this heat system going on. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah. you're saying the demand. So you're saying the demand for power is what's causing the problem. The, that's because the demand causing the problem. The demand causing the problem. But don't you think that if they have a, de a high demand, then the, the supply should also be um, uh, upgraded? Of course, I be bringing in generators and things. But you got to listen to the generators. The generators can't come in. The generators, you can't go buy a new generator and get it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We got to buy this the second hand thing. You can't get it um, the next day. All right. All right, man. Yeah. And the next, a next yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, we had two white people. We had two white people in this country, right? We had Bill Clinton mm -hmm. and we had Mr. Sacco. Right? Mm -hmm. Listen. Well, Mr. Sacco made some good representation about us. You understand? Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, he, um, this man, they make no bad. The man defend me against Exxon. I know if you listen, we talk to the Exxon people. He talked to the Exxon people. Nice. He said, man, Guyana, you are giving Guyana 2%, but Guyana could get 10%. Supposed to get 10%, and they make excuse, and they make excuse, and they make excuse. And Bill Clinton, they make a, um, he didn't make a bad representation of us. He said, well, yeah, I don't get in the 2%, but... Tell yeah, me something. Tell me something. Uh, uh, you had called in this program sometime and had praised Donald Trump? Yeah. And, oh, okay. And that's uh, very good. Yeah, okay. And you know that yeah, yeah. Donald okay. Trump. You know Donald Trump. So I don't know what you know, sir, but anyway, thanks for coming through. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, Freddie, I'm, I'm thinking, man, that with this passport office thing, we are, we are, we, this is a technological age. And there's no way that a country like Guyana 
should be should be having to deal with a long line at six o'clock in the morning, two hundred people, little children. Because you know the kids gotta go to the parks, but they gotta go there and wait with their parents. Yeah. Hello? Good night, Mr. Kisun. Yeah, good night. And I forgot my the other brother name. Uh, Akash, Akash. Akash. Mm-hmm. Yes. How we do it? Fantastic man. So um in response to the previous caller pertaining to the electricity vote, right? Pertaining to what? The electricity Oh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. currently. You know, South Africa is one of the largest economies in Africa and they experiencing a, a, a power outage right now because of the 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 um the expansion of the economy since nineteen ninety four. In 1994, the GDP was 150 billion. Today, South Africa is 411 billion US. Guyana's GDP in 2015 was 3.6 billion. In 2020, it was 5.6 billion. In 2024, it's 23 billion, as big as Trinidad right now. Right? I mean, the government is. In its fourth year, but what happened to the five year? Right? Yeah, yeah we're hearing you. Because if you look at, um, if you look at the the, the, the national debt, right? In twenty fifteen, it was forty three percent of GDP. In twenty twenty, it was forty percent of GDP. In 2024, it is 23% of GDP. I'm just saying this to say that in the five years, they didn't have much economic activity compared to the last four years. It is astronomical. So this is expected. We have the gas to shore um, project is on stream right now. And when that is completed, I think that would remedy this electricity shortage we're experiencing right now. You know me, but Guyana is on is on an upward mobility. It's on the part of progress, and so we have to be patient as a citizen. We didn't have the money in in nineteen ninety two to invest in those um, hydro um, hydro dams and and many other um, energy generation facilities. Now we have the money and we have to extend it prudently. Hello? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, man, yeah. So I don't know if I make any sense there, but that is just my take. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're you're here to give your take. We are here to we are here to provide a forum so you can give your take and we hope your take is being listened to. Thanks for coming to we it's uh, right. I don't know what your what your watch say. My little mango pelt here say time is up. So thanks for coming through. We just have to take two quick, quick calls. Yeah. All right, yeah. And while we wait on the calls, um, I know we have a, a, a large following out of um, out of New York, in New Jersey area, and I know that you guys had a tremor today. You have the, uh, the shock afterwards. Um, our thoughts are with you, you know? Hello? 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 Yeah. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Freddy and... Um... Yeah, we got one minute more. Now, poet to say we have one minute more. Yeah, use yeah. up the one minute and use up half of it so we can get in another call quickly. I, I disagree with all three of the last caller there. Okay, say, say why quickly. Be, because they warned about the government and this and that. Gas the show is not going to be come out until 2030. What are the people going to do? You better have to go back to hand lamp and gas lamp. Right? Since I born, we have him blackout. Yeah, I born in the 60s, and we still get him blackout. Okay. Okay. Well, Thank all right. You. Thanks for coming. Let's see if we get one more call in, all right? Thank you. Good. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people are trying to, trying to come through, trying to, um, well, to call. We to see, um, but we got to go now. Yeah. So, um, one last call. Last caller. Hello. Good evening. Um, this is um, Freddie Kassoon. Yep. Okay, um, I'd like to make two, two quick points. Uh, yeah. Now, there, you know, when they met from Manila, Eccles to Diamond. Now, that road there, when you, when you come out at Diamond and you're coming back, 
Now to go through that road, you have to go kill off in uh, Prospect, turn back at Prospect. Why did they make the piece of road there um, to go across back to, to the new road um, so that you can go across? Yeah. Yeah. You, you were aware of that, you know, yeah. I, I don't know yeah. about it. There yeah. is an illegal turn. If you if you turn there, you can be... Um, so you, why did it broaden in that same, that same turn there and put a stop sign so that when yeah. the traffic clears, so then you could go across? You have to go to a prospect. It doesn't make sense. It's we look like we're a stupid set of people in this country. Well, there are some of those on the East Coast also. Let's say you want to get into success. No, 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 no. If you come out there, you mm. should be able to turn back from there and right there. I don't mm. see no, no, well, no, I don't see no logic. I agree with you. I agree with you. The road here to turn back there mm. and not to go across. Yeah. To put a stop sign there. Our next thing, the same Mandela to um to Diamond Road. Those I don't know. Like there's something wrong with this engineer in this country here. All the bridges them either them high than the road, like what happened to the East Coast, right? And those roads are need to be put asphalt on it. No, it's still like you today in the back now, bum, 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 bum. And that doesn't, that's not all. The sign, where they have the speed sign. Some got 50, some got 65, some got 80. You have to look at sign because if the police stop you and you say, man, right. you see 80 there, you yeah. say, no, here's 50. Okay, the operator signal. Yeah, we've gone, over, gone we over time. Got, we've gone three minutes over time. Yeah, like right. we are still, still stupid people in this country. Okay. They're making some road, and I know whatever. We got to go, sir. Okay, we got to go, sir. Thank you for coming through, though, all right? Yeah. Good. Time has come. We've got to, to go. Uh, on behalf of Akash Basad, we don't want to be accused of exploiting workers. Mm -hmm. Our operator has to go. Our two operators, it's three minutes, four minutes past ten. On behalf of Akash Basad, thanks for being with us. We'll see you on Monday, and then we'll see you on Wednesday. And we're likely to see you on Friday with another call in. Mm -hmm. On behalf of our new co-host, who's doing quite well, catch you later. Bye-bye.